Welcome to the MFR Coaches Podcast, where we talk about how you can create a six-figure MFR practice. I'm your host, Heather Hommel. Not only have I been practicing MFR for 11 years, I'm also a life and business coach, especially for MFR therapists. My goal is for you to understand how to get fully booked, how to talk to your clients, and how to make sure they understand what's possible for them with MFR treatment. I'm here to help you stop under earning, overworking, and burning out. I'll lend support so you can create the MFR practice you've always wanted. Learn how you can do it too, even if you live in a tiny town, and even if you're just starting out, and even if you've ran your practice for years. Let's go. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the MFR Coaches Podcast. Did you know that today's episode is my 200th episode? Yeah, isn't that crazy? 200 episodes. Not to mention all the bonus episodes I've also done. So we're actually well over 200 episodes, but for a lot of those, we didn't count them as real episodes in the number count. So actually done 200 plus episodes. That is crazy. I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being on this journey to help make MFR mainstream with me. This podcast is something I started with a high level of commitment to. I knew going into it that I wanted to do it, that I was going to have fun doing it, and that it would help a lot of people. I didn't know what it would actually look like to put out a podcast every single Monday for 200 plus episodes, though, from writing the content to brainstorming the topic ideas, to scheduling guests, and to doing it even when I didn't want to be doing it, and to be doing it even when it felt hard or I was sick or would rather be doing something else. I'd like to thank my podcast producer and manager and her team. Colette, you've been with me since the beginning. You were my very first hire in this business. You've helped me to put out a high level of content with less stress. You've required me to get organized and you've helped me do this so much. You've always been willing to change things up when I do the crazy thing I do and change my mind. And I've learned a lot about how to make decisions way ahead of time and not have to change my mind so much. So I'm growing. Planning has really been the key and I can't always predict. So I thank you, Colette, for always being willing to help me to put out the best episodes possible and for celebrating all the milestones along the way with me. I spend a lot of time talking into the microphone and Colette spends a lot of time listening to me. She's shared on an episode before how listening to me has even helped her change her business, even though the messaging is for MFR therapists and how she's been able to change her business for the better. And I just love knowing that. So thank you, Colette. I know about all of the work you do behind the scenes and I see you and I appreciate you. 200 episodes. I don't know if I've ever been more committed to anything I've done before. Being the MFR coach has given me the opportunity to double down on my commitment to MFR therapists. There were times when no one was buying what I was selling, and I was encouraged to offer coaching to all business owners. It was tempting. I was told, there's not enough therapists to buy from you, and you're just creating a business that's going to burn down. It was very tempting. But instead of quitting, instead of changing my niche, I just got more committed. More committed to the message I was putting out. More committed to what was possible for MFR therapists in this industry more clear about making MFR mainstream, more clear on how to get your practice fully booked. And while I've grown over the years and changed things, I always come back to my commitment level to MFR therapists that are my clients. I am committed to you, to your business growth, to your personal development, so that you can create a business that feels easy, that feels strong, and that will leave a legacy. I am so committed, I eat, sleep, and breathe how to make things easier for you, how to explain something differently so that more people understand what I'm talking about. I continually revamp my curriculum. I spend hours typing away on my computer each and every week, writing the content for these podcasts, the content for emails, and the content for social media. But I spend the most time coaching the members inside my programs, showing up to the calls, showing up to give written coaching, celebrating the members who are doing well and supporting those that are struggling and those that are having breakthroughs. If there weren't MFR therapists interested in making MFR mainstream, who were interested in getting fully booked and becoming high income earners, 
I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, members of my programs. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for buying the programs from me so that I can keep going. Thank you for tuning into the podcast and sharing it with others so they can find it too. I want you to imagine what else is possible for you and your business and how quickly you can create what you want when you're even more willing to be committed to your business and committed to your clients. What results are possible for you with that level of commitment? And that brings me to today's show, all about your commitment level. So let's get into it. Your commitment level to your clients and to your clients getting MFR is what matters most in your business. You get to do the heavy lifting of being committed to your clients and their results, even when they are less committed or you think they are less committed than you are. The thought that clients have to be committed is one thought that will keep you from being committed. And your commitment is all that matters for building your MFR business and serving your clients at the highest level. Understanding your responsibility and your mindset around this creates and increases the likelihood of success for you selling MFR and creating the opportunity for a client to say yes for the first time or the hundredth time to MFR. And because of this, This increases the likelihood of a successful MFR treatment and result for the client. All the client has to do is schedule an appointment and show up. Everything else is your responsibility. It's your responsibility to believe that you can help them. It's your responsibility to know how to talk about MFR and to be able to explain how MFR will help the client reach their goals. It's your responsibility to understand what the client wants help with and to tell them that you can help them. It's your responsibility to overcome objections and to ask curious questions to help your client make the best decision possible. Being responsible for the commitment puts you in control of your business and in control of better patient outcomes. You decide that you know what you are doing and you figure out exactly how to do these things over time in your business by figuring it out, by practicing, by getting coaching, by not quitting by doing things imperfectly, and by asking for help. You might be thinking, what? No, I need the client to show up committed. I need the client to be best fit. I need the client to be familiar with and to understand how MFR works. I need the client to be committed to coming for MFR every week. I need the client to do their own home self-care. I'm not responsible for their results. They're responsible. I can't promise they're going to get any better with MFR, and I'm not willing to risk that they won't get any results and be responsible for that. These are all of the objections that are happening in your brain and all of the things that I hear MFR therapists say when they first come into my programs. I want you to know that you are in control of every aspect of your business, from creating clients to creating long-term clients, and also in control of the opposite. Clients not coming, no one wanting to pay your rate, and clients not rebooking. While it might seem harsh, when things are in your control, it means that you can change the outcome. And this is the best news possible. Hey everyone, it's Heather here with some exciting news. Are you ready to take your myofascial release practice to the next level and create a thriving business that feels easy and rewarding? Well, listen up because our 12 month foundations coaching program is now open for enrollment. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. From July 22nd to August 6th, you have the chance to join our comprehensive coaching program designed specifically for MFR practitioners. This isn't just any coaching program. It's your ticket to transforming your practice and your life. Here's what you get when you join the foundations coaching program access to a self-paced course portal where you'll learn at your own speed with in-depth resources and materials. Weekly live coaching calls every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central, where you'll connect with me and your peers for real-time guidance and support. Private weekly one-on-one written coaching, get personalized feedback and advice tailored to your needs via your weekly report. A supportive and private Facebook group, engage with a community of like-minded professionals and receive continuous support and coaching. We provide all the tools you need to get fully booked and ensure that you never under earn or burn out. With our program, you'll build a business that feels effortless and you'll sell MFR with confidence, all while helping your clients achieve their best results. Imagine being a part of the movement that makes MFR mainstream and accessible to everyone. 
Don't miss this opportunity to transform your practice and join a supportive community of MFR professionals. Remember, enrollment is only open from July 22nd to August 6th, so act fast. Head over to www.themfrcoach.com forward slash foundation to learn more and secure your spot today. Let's make MFR a household name together. I used to think that everything was out of my control, that it didn't matter what I said or did, and especially I didn't know that what I thought about mattered until one day when I was working with my very first coach, Tavana Denise. She's my very first life and business coach, and she introduced me to thought work. My life and business was changed forever for the better. I easily and quickly started to put that work into practice and became responsible for everything, even the results I didn't like and the interactions I didn't like. And I started to look for what was working and what wasn't working so I could change things and try things for different results. I became committed to being in charge of believing for both me and my client and in charge of being extra committed enough for the both of us, for the client to get the result that they wanted. That way the client only needed to show up in order for me to help them. That took off so much pressure and also helped me feel like I knew what I was doing and that I could figure things out and that I would figure them out. You see, when it's up to the client to come prepared and committed to something they don't know anything about, you're likely going to be disappointed in them in some way. They won't know enough about MFR or they'll compare it to some other modality and you might feel insulted or annoyed. And when you're insulted or annoyed, when you're disappointed, you're going to respond differently than if you were not disappointed, insulted, or annoyed. It's okay for them to show up like that and you're going to help them. That's all you're going to do. You're going to be committed to helping them. You're going to explain to them clearly what to expect. You're going to listen carefully so you know exactly what they want help with, and you're going to offer that help to them. You aren't disappointed, so you are showing up differently. You are curious and calm and at ease instead of disappointed. You are ready to help them no matter what, and you are okay if they aren't ready to sign up for more treatment because you know that you are there to help them no matter what. And if they aren't ready for the help, you'll help the next person and the next person after that. You might be thinking, hey, wait a minute. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to show up in this level of committed energy. And that's okay. This is why I do what I do. You don't have to be born with these skills. They can be learned. And this is a large portion of what I teach in my foundation's coaching program, a 12-month program where you learn all the skills needed to go from no business to a fully booked business to go from a broken business to a flourishing business. Wherever you are in your business, this program is for you. We make it simple and easy and offer you a lot of support so you never feel alone or confused. And if you do, it doesn't last long because you know exactly how to find the solutions to your exact problems because this program was made just for MFR therapists. You don't have to try to take the program and make it relevant for you. I want you to decide to be committed to your business and see what happens. See the difference this makes. Don't make your business responsible. You be responsible and committed to every aspect. Learn how to do that inside my program. Go to www.themfrcoach.com forward slash foundation to find out more information and to enroll. Between July 22nd and August 6th, we've got special bonus offers, so be on the lookout. We'd love to have you join us in making MFR mainstream. Let's go. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you for episode 201 for the land next week. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a minute and rate and review the podcast. I appreciate it. For more information, please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at The MFR Coach. And check out my website, www.themfrcoach.com for more information. If you are currently not working 20 hours or less and making six figures in your MFR business, I want to help you change that. Make sure you tune into the show and get on my email list so you never miss out on important trainings and information. To be the first to find out when we are enrolling next for my 12-month Business Foundations coaching program, get on that email list at www.themfrcoach.com backslash join. 
Inside this program, you'll learn how to raise your rate, overcome objections, and sell MFR. You'll become the MFR therapist that never under earns and never burns out. It's up to us to make MFR mainstream, and it starts with you and your successful MFR practice. See you next week.